Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm how's it doing? I'm doing well. I'm just trying to turn you down here a little loud. Uh, uh what's up? <laughs> yeah. Um, thanks for uh willing to do this, Richard. My pleasure. You know, I gotta be honest with you, but um, you are the first voice I've heard you as. Well, the first character I've heard you as, I meant to say. <laughs> yeah. The first character I've heard you as is Ansem from Kingdom Hearts. Right. Yeah. Ever since then, I've been trying to know about about everything. But um, but since I discovered anime and Mortal Kombat, that's when I discovered you, Richard. Oh, okay. And you know what your voice kind of reminds me of? Your voice reminds me of father, my father. Yeah. Uh -huh. he's, he's like he's like you, Richard, because he has a good wife, my mother, who's actually a very good, awesome person, actually. That's wonderful. I'm yeah. Glad you have good parents. That's terrific. Yeah. Just like you have very good children. I do. I'm very fortunate. Yeah. And I but, also uh, had very good parents as well. Well, that's a very good thing to hear from you. Yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> yes. I have many questions I've been wanting to ask you. All right. Well, let's see if we can answer them. All right, then. <clears throat> Tell me, how is it like being a voice actor in many animated shows? Uh, well, it's fun. You know, I, I'm very fortunate. I've, uh, I've actually voiced over 1,200 characters in games, animation, and anime. And I've been doing this for many, many, many years. And uh, I was uh, very fortunate. My wife, Ellen Stern, and I kind of started out uh, in Robotech a million years ago. Uh, and we kind of fell into this whole thing. And uh, it's been it's been a wonderful ride. And we've uh, enjoyed it very much. And uh, it's been it's been great. I've been able to work on some really wonderful shows. Wow, that's very good of you. Which leads me to the most important question. Yeah. How did you get into voice acting? Uh, well, I'm an actor. So I came to Los Angeles to be a, an on-camera actor, which I did. I did a lot of soaps and TV shows. And uh, and my wife uh, was in a, uh, she was my girlfriend at the time, was in a, in a movie. And they didn't like the, uh, the voices of the uh, actors in the movie. They wanted to replace them. And they wanted to do uh, ADR and uh, re replace the dialogue on the movie. So they asked her to come in and audition for it. And she said, can I bring my boyfriend, who was me? And I went along with her. And I auditioned for that. And I got the lead in that particular movie. And uh, I wound up doing a bunch of jobs for them from that. And from that, I got into Robotech, which I, I mentioned earlier. And from Robotech, I just I haven't stopped working since. I've just been crazy and doing tons and tons and tons of uh, voice work so that's kind of how the whole thing started wow so that's why you got into voice acting because of the things you've been doing because of because i gotta be honest you are a very good actor turned voice actor Thanks. but anywho back on the topic but <clears throat> all right why do you like playing in animated shows that much why do i like playing in them is that what you asked me? Yeah. Um, well, uh, you know, it depends on the show, of course. I I had a great time with uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I got to play uh, Joseph Joestar. I loved playing him. He was a lot of fun, and a, yeah, that was a great show. It, you know, it depends on the show and the character. I also love doing Jigen and Lupin the Third. He's another one of my favorite characters. Uh, so I do a lot of a lot of anime, but I do a lot of games as well, and I do a lot of uh, animation. So. You know, it's all fun. It's just, uh, I'm very fortunate. I've been very lucky and blessed that I get to do a lot of different characters all the time and and be working consistently in this business, which is, uh, is uh, you know, that's quite a thing. There's not a lot of people that can say they, they do that. So I'm very, very fortunate and very lucky to be able to do that. Wow. So that's why you like to do that, because of the things you've been trying to do. <laughs> and I'm starting to liking that from you. Is that's a very good thing about it. But without further ado, 
I got many questions about your characters that I've been knowing about for years. But okay. let's start with the first question. But <clears throat> All right. what was your first ever character that you played in animation? The first character I ever played. Wow, that's a because you mentioned earlier about Robotech, right? And yeah. well, that and certainly that... was one of the first ones. And I played uh, Ben Dixon, Lunk, and Grell. And uh, later on, I played uh, Captain Vince Grant in that uh, in that series. And we did a we did a movie, a couple of movies. So uh, yeah, I played all those characters. And uh, you know, I would have to say that's probably. Uh, one of the first ones i'm not sure if it was absolutely the first one i i know i did do some uh some uh cartoons and stuff before that but i can't really remember what they were to be honest with you it's okay because um say it once i looked up in your behind the voice actors website and when i looked down there and it turns out there are like two types of robotech you were in like the bottom one is where you play two characters and the other one you played the character named Lunk. Yeah. So, yeah, Lunk. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe the first one you got to play as are two are the two other characters way before Lunk. Right. It was Ben Dixon and Grell, which were the two characters. And then Lunk came later. And then Captain Vince Gray came later than that. I'm just checking, just to be sure. Because just in case if I ever make a voice showcase of you, I just need to make sure I make a chronological order to make okay. sure everybody recognizes your voices, just like I did. All right, good. <laughs> but, anyhow. <laughs> yes. In the show JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, what was your favorite part about playing the character Joseph Joestar? He was a lot of fun. He was a great character, and he, uh, you know, he's a he's a guy. That he has, he's a very powerful character, but he he uh, he has flaws, and I think that that always is fun to play as an actor to play a character that has flaws. And uh, you know, he uh, he makes mistakes and he screws up, and uh, and that's very real and that's very human. So I think that uh, to play someone like that was uh, was a lot of fun, and you know, the I think that. The show was a wonderful show. It was really well written. And, uh, you know, I do a lot of these shows and I don't really watch them because I don't have time. But this particular show I was really into and really wanted to see it. And I actually watched the whole season that we did. And I just thought it was a great show and really liked it a lot. Wow. So that's why you like about playing the character of Joseph Joestar. Because <laughs> I got to say, when I first watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure... At first, I started to recognize you were doing British at first. But by the time Stardust Crusaders appear, you go into a full-time American voice. Well, they they originally wanted to do it in with an English accent for some reason. We did. I think we did three episodes like that, and I think they uh, they came to their senses and said, "Let's drop the English accent," which I think we were all happy they did that. But uh, uh, for whatever reason, I'm not sure if perhaps the character originally was English. I don't know, but. Uh, I think it works a lot better with just an American accent. And I think uh, everybody was happy that they dropped the English accent. Which is a good thing for you, because that's the thing about, about voice acting, you know, it's by showing which types of voices they had in mind, you know. Right. And, and your full-time American is one of them. And that's a simple fact, you know, that I've learned from a, from an old friend of mine, Karen Strassman, uh, whom I got voice acting lessons with. Oh, Karen's a doll. I love Karen, and I've worked with her many times. I've directed her many times, and <laughs> Karen is a wonderful actress and a wonderful voice actress and a lovely person as well. But without further ado, <clears throat> yes. how does it feel about playing the character Dusuke Jigen in Lupin the Third? Daisuke Jigen, yes. He's a lot of fun, and uh, I put that cast together, actually. The Red Jacket series, I put the cast together, and I directed that series. And uh, I wasn't going to play Jigen originally. Originally, uh, we had a bunch of people audition for it, and the producers never found anyone they quite liked. So one day after we had auditioned like 200 people for the role, they finally said to me, uh, Richard, why don't you go in and read it? 
and I went in and read it and they liked what I did. So they cast me in it. And so at first I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to direct myself, but uh, it turned out to be a really good thing. And I'm so happy it worked out because he is one of my favorite characters and I do love playing him. And uh, I, uh, ever since uh, then, we've done a lot. We've, uh, I've directed uh, uh, part four and then uh, with my wife, actually, Ellen co-directed that with me. And uh, then I directed part five and then uh, we did, uh, uh, I was in six. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the uh, TMS, uh, the company that owns the rights to Lupin came and uh, asked us to do the, uh, to dub the first series, which had never been dubbed. It was 50 years old and had never been dubbed. So we dub dubbed the first uh, series of Lupin, which was amazing. And it was uh, Miyazaki's work, a hand-drawn, you know, uh, uh, animation that was incredible and uh, it was a lot of fun to work on that first one so we we've been doing it a long time we do a lot of movies uh, a lot of the games and all that stuff for Lupin and we've become the the cast for Lupin that's a very good thing to hear from you because um, I gotta be super honest that you did very good playing that character along with my very good friend Lex Ling who I got to meet like a few months ago. Have you interviewed them? Oh, trust me. I met, I met them in person. Great. That's wonderful. Yeah, Lex is great, and I cast him as uh, Goyamon in the show, and he's done a great job. And uh, I can't think of anybody else uh, that would be as good as these uh, guys are for these characters. I just think all the characters are perfectly cast. Michelle Ruff, Lex Lang, and, of course, Tony Oliver as Lupin the Third. <laughs> well that's a oh, good and, uh, and when now we have uh we have doug airholes as uh as inspector zinagata who's doing a great job <laughs> yeah that guy doug airholes but anywho back on the topic i was gonna say but <clears throat> how is it like playing the character batu in ghost in the shell Bato. uh Bato is a great character he's a uh, he's another character one of my favorite characters uh I started out in the movie, and then uh, they had a series, and uh, I wasn't cast immediately. I mean, they they didn't take the cast from the from the movie immediately into the series. We had to re audition for our roles, and only two of us made it. Made the cut. It was me and uh, 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 the guy who played there, Amaki, uh, and the two of us got to keep our parts, and the rest of the people were recast with different actors. So I was very very happy that. Uh, we were uh, we were able to to do it, and I was very happy I got to play Bato and continue playing him because I love him. He's a great character. And there's another. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the new one, but there's a new. Yeah, uh, I've seen it. Bill. Yeah, cool on Netflix, which is terrific. And uh, we've done two seasons so far. I think there might even be more. So I hope there are because I I really enjoy playing him. Well, that's a good sign to hear from you because yeah. um I gotta be honest, I've seen Ghost in the Shell for the last few few years actually since i've discovered anime and i've got to say you would do amazing in in the show alongside mary elizabeth mclan crispin freeman and the others you know yeah but, we have a um, great cast yeah but anyway <clears throat> i i wanted to say this for the kingdom hearts fans but yeah. <clears throat> what was your favorite part about playing the character ansem in kingdom hearts well, Ansem was a lot of fun. He he was a great character, and uh, you know he was kind of evil, but uh, at the end, I think he kind of redeemed himself a little bit. But uh, he was he was a great it was a great uh, uh, franchise. I love being part of it, and uh, the Kingdom Heart fans are the greatest. They really are. Yeah, I can see that because all I know is that not only did you play Ansem, but you played Terra Xehanort as well. That's right. Here, I battled you, Richard, when I played the game. You battled me? Huh? Why? Yeah. Why did you battle me? I'm such a nice guy. Oh, I know. God. You're a nice guy in real life. It's just the character is what I, I have to do there. Oh, yeah. I oh, oh, trust me. This is for the fans of Bleach. But um, <clears throat> what was the biggest thing when playing the character Yuhabaha in Bleach Thousand Year Blood War? I love playing Yuhaba. He's great. I, you know, I did uh, Zangetsu originally, 
And Zangetsu actually returns to the new Bleach as well. So I'm playing both of those characters. And Yuaba is just, he's like the epitome of, of evil in many ways. And uh, he's just, I love playing him. He's just a great character. And uh, I'm really enjoying uh, my my time back on Bleach. It's been a while. It's been many, many years since I did the original Bleach. And then uh, it was it's nice to be uh, brought back on the new one. <laughs> yeah. That's a good thing, actually, because um, it is. Say as it once, when I first watched Bleach back then, I beginning to know about your character Zangetsu. Mm -hmm. I never know know about what he is because all I know is that he guides him. But by the time I read the manga of Thousand Year Blood War, and by the time I discovered Zangetsu is Yuabaha from a thousand years ago, that's where the thought came to me. Could it be that if if he's actually Zangetsu, could it be that Richard Apcar could be Yuabaha? Until, well, until a few months later, it happened. Yeah. Just like that. Well, I was glad it happened because, you know, there's no uh, there's no guarantees in this business. So I was very happy that they uh, they cast me as Yuabaha. Uh, that was, you know, ob the obvious thing to do, but uh, like I say, there's no guarantees in this business. So I was very happy they they brought me back. Yeah, because um, <laughs> to say is at once, I've been watching Bleach actually, and I've got to say you make an excellent villain alongside my biggest fan of my YouTube channel, Robbie Damon. He's a big fan of me who asked me for my social media, and oh, I great. gave it to him, and he followed me through everywhere. We because love of Robbie. Robbie's a good guy. Yeah, and. But you know what else I've been wanting to tell you? Hmm. That what is it? If you, if you ever return to to Bleach Thousand Year Blood War again as Yuabaha, you know what quote I've always wanted you to say? What? The quote I wanted you to say is this. It seems your fate has finally come to a close, my dear father. He says it to the Soul King, his father, Yuhabaha's father. Oh, well. If you saying that will make it sound more epic, you know? Also so that I so that it can help you to be better. Okay. <laughs> the other question I want to tell you is this. Which character that you have played in the past has been the most challenging to you and why? Um well, I don't know about challenging, but one of my favorite characters that I ever did uh, was a character in Xenosaga. I played uh, Ziggurat 8. I don't know if you're familiar with that game or not. Yeah, I know but, about the game. Yeah. Ziggy. Well, he, was, he, was a, he was Ziggy. So he was a lot of fun to play because uh, it, there was a, a lot of pathos to his character. He uh, he His family had been killed and he he tried to kill himself and then they brought him back to life and basically made them made him do their bidding kind of like it was a little bit like robocop in certain ways and uh i just really liked the uh the pathos of the character and playing somebody that had you know that that sadness in them was uh was an interesting uh character to play so i really liked him he was he was a lot of fun i i i enjoy playing most characters the only time that characters are challenging uh let's say is when you're having to do a character like where you're screaming a lot. For example, Akuma in Street Fighter V is a tough one because it's very taxing on your voice. And it just really, you're basically just, you know, screaming in your throat. And it's really, it's a tough one. It's a tough one to do. But, uh, you know, that that one is uh, physically challenging, not necessarily mentally challenging. Wow, that's very good to hear from you. So yeah. do you have any other any other questions you wanted to ask me? Well, there is one more actually. Okay. And it's something to do with with what I've been wanting to ask you about, but sure. What is it? What was the thing about being in the anime show Monster as Inspector Long? Inspector Lunge, yeah. I you know that was a that was an incredible show. And uh I'm I'm so sad because it's it seems like it's impossible to get copies of that anymore. And uh, I kind of, I, 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 I understand they're showing it on some channel, but they're not showing our dub version of it, which I'm really sad about. 
Um, that was a great show. Patrick Seitz uh, directed that show, and it was a really good show. And uh, he's an he's a really intricate character. He's a character that's just very very. He's a detective who's very involved with his work, and uh, to the exclusion of his family and to friends and everything. He's, he has no life except for this this being a detective and and pursuing this criminal that he's after. So it's it's a very uh, fascinating character. He was a lot of fun to play. It was something very, very different than what I normally get cast as. So it was kind of really a fun uh, part for me. So I really enjoyed that. I see. So that's what you like about playing the character. But anyway, <clears throat> well, Richard, it was super honored to finally meet you at last. Thank and you. I appreciate that. Oh, I also... Oh. I have a few more things I wanted to tell you. Yeah, go ahead. One, if I'm ever to making my own show, or if I'm ever to making a Power Rangers animated show, I'd be gladly to bring you and your wife in as a way to show you the experience of what it means to be back in the Power Rangers. Also, so that you may help me out with some stories, with, you know, revealing backstories of why these villains are doing this, what they really want. And okay. so, you know, because doing that will give me a chance to work with you and the others. All right. Well, we uh, have and to see where I am at that time, you know. Don't uh, worry. That's why it's called taking the time to adjust it. That's right. I'm super happy you said that. And to be honest with you, you're actually one of my number one biggest favorite voice actors I've ever met. I and agree. I really do love appreciating you and everybody else. And even I, I even love supporting you and your family. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And it's been nice chatting with you. And uh, I wish you all the best of luck. You're a very talented young man. And uh, I hope you do well, my friend. Okay. Thank you, Richard. And you really are a wonderful, good friend. You habaha. <laughs> Let's do our you abaha voice together, bud. <clears throat> All right, you ready? I'm going to say good goodbye to you uh, as you abaha. Right. Bye, and Sebastian. I will see you another time. And I'll see you too, my son, born <laughs> in the dark. All right, buddy. Have a good one. Thanks for having you, me on. Bye, Sebastian. You, bye, Richard. <laughs>